Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. Today, we are taking a look at a Grail. One of the best cards. Well, yeah, one of the best. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll keep it that way. Uh, but one of the best cards of 2015. This is Jeff Gordon's 2015 Martinsville race win. His final career race win. An iconic race for so many reasons. Um, six year anniversary of it was yesterday. And I mean, we're talking about Logano Kenseth. We're talking about his final win. The lights weren't installed yet. You know, that celebration on the front stretch, the whole thing. And frankly, I this was one of the most memorable races I've ever seen. I remember so much of it. Um, it was just such an iconic race. And I know people are going to always talk about the, the Kenseth Logano thing. Um, and that was obviously a huge part of this race, let's not lie. But this race was just one of those one in a million bangers that... There is so much stuff to remember about it, um, and I'm really glad I got the car. So I, I had a review of the ARC a while back. I had the Elite, and for some silly reason, I thought, oh, you know what? I'm going to sell it to make room for uh, uh, another car. That was dumb because, yeah, I, I, I think I sold this car for like $110. It was so hard to get back, but I got it, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. So, here's our box. We're going to take a look at the Matte Color Elite box on this one here. Um, one of uh, 850, which is not actually all that much for, for Jeff Gordon. You know, we're talking about the sports kind of biggest, uh, not most popular ever, but the biggest... Um, what's the word? Advancement driver? Like... He, he really brought NASCAR into the national stage. Every race win that was offered of Jeff Gordon's was pretty much made after 2004, I think. So, you know, he was definitely one of the higher ends. And his final career win, 850. So not that many, but I know they made some special finishes and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and dig in. We It comes with four uh, different items. We do have the confetti bag here with the blue and yellow confetti for the goodies Fast Relief 500. We also have the yellow winner sticker for the 2015 season. Also, we have the DIN card here, 551 of 850. And we've also got the race win card. Uh, Jeff Gordon Goody's Headache Relief Shot 500 winner. Uh, 18 cautions, 109 laps. He led 35 laps, which is basically, I believe, the last 35 laps. And it was his 93rd. That's right, 93rd. A modern era record race win for Jeff Gordon. Um, the GOAT. I mean, if we're being honest, Jeff Gordon was the GOAT. Uh, he ran for basically 20 seasons in NASCAR practically and was winning races in just about all of them. Now, I understand a lot of people appointed Jimmy Johnson for having a much shorter career. You know, he went 2002 to 2018, which is only like 16 years. Um, so obviously we, we look at four extra years. Would Jimmy have caught Jeff? I don't know. Probably the, with how good Hendrick's been this year, it'd be hard to imagine he didn't get at least a couple wins um, in that 48. But... In general, um, Jimmy had a more dominant stretch for that ten little period there as far as championships goes, but Jeff Gordon had the more dominant career in terms of always being in the mix. Um, you know, I know at the end we all obviously saw what happened to Jimmy Johnson. That didn't happen to Jeff Gordon. At no point, I mean, yeah, he had a winless season, but at no point did he fall off the map quite as bad as what we saw for Jimmy Johnson. I mean, we're talking, we're, we're debating, you know, tiny little nit nitpicks on two absolute legends of the sport. But um, I, in my personal opinion, Jeff Gordon is the greatest race car driver in NASCAR history. I know a lot of people will point at the championships, but I look at those win numbers and uh, how dominant certain seasons were. And I think he would have tied Dale Earnhardt and potentially just I think that um, we will never know because of the uh, format that NASCAR went to. But let's go ahead and take a look at this car. First thing that I noticed, look at all the dirt around the front of this car. It's a good Martinsville race win. You can see we got the Goodyear Eagle here. We got all four Hendrick numbers inside the rim. You can see we got our number 24 uh, dirt down around the skirt. We got, and then we got this nice metallic red that kind of comes in. Looks very, very sharp. The blue and yellow confetti sprinkled all around the rear of the car. We got Pepsi, Exalta, 3M, AARP. Uh, we got the one winner sticker up there along with Jeff Gordon's name on the name rail. But there you can see the confetti all around the rear windshield. It's all over the deck lid. It's on the roof. Um, it's on the roof flap. And you can see there's the tethers to the roof flap. Um, it's even on the spoiler here. You can see it's uh, it's everywhere. I mean, this, this stuff didn't just fall in one spot. Uh, we do have the ethanol ring as well. On the back, you can see we have some confetti on the bumper as well as on the Valvoline logo and the number 24. A little dirty on the spoiler, but not too bad. Uh, we get that popped open. You can see our fuel cell in the back along with two braces, or sorry, two tethers and a brace for the trunk. 
Uh, also, you will, if you see, there's a clean top to this uh, spoiler. Not sure if that's intentional or not, but you can see the dirty spot with the confetti in the middle. So not 100% sure about that, but we've got United Healthcare. You can see a little scrape to the wall here. Uh, we got the Pepsi, Exalta, AARP, 3M, lots of dirt, a donut mark here on the door. Just very, for the color of the car, the, the marks don't show up real well, but you can see there's, there's marks on this right side of the car. It's a Martinsville raced version. It's going to have marks. There's going to be people banging doors. You can see the ring around the Goodyear tire. That's from a little bit of contact. Um, as you can see, when we get back around to the front, all the little build-up marks, all those little dots there that are around the front of the car. Down along the splitter, it's a few little marks, but not too much um, down there. A little bit of red tape on the two brake duct openings. AARP member advantage there. Um, we also have the yellow playoff banner there with Gordon and the two Chevy emblems there. So those look pretty darn good. Let's go ahead now and take a look under the hood here. We do have a silver engine block along with, or engine block. We have a silver valve cover along with all eight plug wires, the radiator, the alternator, the belts, a couple hoses. And then the braces and the tethers. So not quite as much detail as um, I guess I would probably have personally chosen to have or wanted to have. But it's not bad by any stretch. Uh, the other thing is it is a 2015 race win, which means I can just reach in here and pull this window net right out. Uh, which is kind of a cool detail. I wish they still let this happen. I understand why they don't. Uh, because I want the window net to look better. But maybe just go back to uh, magnets and rubber window nets. There we go. So there you can see I can fold that down. And uh, inside the car, you can see the seat, the radio wire, all that fun jazz. But um, it is also a pain in the butt to get back in there because the top of it is so, uh, so like, rock solid. So you can see how that looks. But it doesn't look bad. The window looks pretty good. Uh, we'll see how the Charlotte Robo ones look. Underneath the car, you can see we've got DIN number 551. Also a functioning rear suspension. You can see that there from that angle. As well as underneath, you can see the springs, a couple extra lines, drive shaft, trailing arms. Transmission lines or different, I shouldn't say transmission lines, different transmission fluid lines, I would assume, or oil lines. Not 100% sure which one these little lines are here, but I know that's what they are, or that's what they should be. DIN 551 on the splitter up here, and then we got our tailpipes there. So overall, this is an absolute grail of a car, um, a very, very awesome ad. I don't have, um, don't have a ton of Jeff Gordon's... Um, wins with boxes and all that and like the win card and the whole thing a lot of uh the jeff gordon cars i got i got it one big swoop i got them all with no boxes no nothing but i'm glad this one does i'm really glad this one has the card and everything i just think it's a really cool car and i don't know i just it's nice to have one really cool grail car if i had to pick uh, a car for Jeff Gordon to sign, it would be his 2005 Daytona win and this one these would be the two favorites maybe this one higher just because of the memory um but, you know, it, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard to pick between the two because obviously they're both very iconic to me. So, uh, but anyway, everybody, that'll pretty much wrap up this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Turn on the bell, subscribe, all that fun jazz. I hope we're all prepped for Martinsville this week and I'm ready for a good time. Should be some great racing Saturday and Sunday. Two full days of racing. I can't wait. I imagine you can't either. So thanks for watching, everybody. This has been Race Craze and we'll see you in the next Diecast Review.